Okay, here we are. Alt.nerd.obsessive. Worst episode ever. Hey everybody, welcome to Worst Episode Ever, a podcast for people who love The Simpsons, by people who love The Simpsons, about how much we hate The Simpsons. We're here trying to find which is the worst episode ever. And as always, my name is Dan. And as always, my name is Jack. And we are here with another episode for you. I don't know if anyone got thrown off that we didn't have a new episode last week. We didn't totally... I'm sure they they recovered fine. Yeah, well, I don't know. Some um, people, yeah. we, we draw. Well, we, is not we actually to, we uh, actually recorded an announcement for episode 85. Where we're going to say, "Hey guys, just so you know, we're we're now every other week." Right. But which is uh, true. You would use the word bi-weekly, and we were we were worried people were going to go, "Oh, two episodes a week," and, no. then, and then we would actually have the opposite uh, reaction we wanted. Right. But bi-weekly has two meanings. Yeah. One meaning twice a week, and, and one, one meaning, meaning once every two weeks. Yeah. So it's you ridiculous. were you were technically correct. I've been I like to say bi-monthly, the best kind which of is correct. also technically correct. Uh, even though I think semi-monthly is the more accurate term, but they're both acceptable. Once every two weeks. But I don't nice like and semi. Clear. Yeah. Semi does technically mean split in half. Sure. But to me, semi just means partially. So semi-monthly means to me, you know, any part of a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So part of the month, you'll get new episodes, (laughs) but part of the month, you won't. No, it's pretty simple. Every other Thursday. I don't know. It's not that simple. So wait, if this is coming out this Thursday, when does the next episode come out? So next Thursday, there'll be nothing, possibly deleted scenes. The Thursday after that, there'll be a new episode. Okay. When you say it like that, it makes so much sense. <laughs> but we're here today. We're going to do another new episode from season 20 of The Simpsons. It's called My Pods and Boomsticks. Originally aired November of 2008. This episode is uh, written by Mark Wilmore, who I think has written quite a few episodes. Is he, and, is he uh, brother of Larry Wilmore? You know, I was wondering the same thing, so let's just take a look. Because Larry Wilmore was a pretty uh, prolific TV writer, I think, before uh, uh, he's, taking over the he nightly show. He is the younger brother of Larry Wilmore. Oh, that's cool. So there you go. But he's written several episodes of The Simpsons, uh, including... Let's see. Have we done any of them before? No, we haven't. We haven't done any of his All episodes. Right, so, so this, this is it. This we're, is we're, ju- we're judging you by this one episode. Yeah, maybe we did. Uh, was, he did some Treehouse of Horror episodes, but uh, I don't remember which ones of those we've done. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a break, and we're going to watch My Pods and Boomsticks in a moment. If you have to watch this episode, I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't know if you have to watch it or you want to watch it. I don't know what you're doing with your I life. I would prefer. I would. I, I would recommend you watch the episode to to for, get all the deep cuts. Because you might notice about. sometimes I talk very quickly and I don't bother explaining the context of what I'm yes, saying. That's, so that's it, a thing that we do. You you might want to actually watch the episode so you know what we're talking about. Right. If you want to do that, you can do it on SimpsonsWorld.com. If you're in the U.S., uh, it's probably available on Amazon. You can definitely get it on DVD. I know season 20 is out on DVD. So if uh, you want to do that, you should do Amazon.WePodcast. Dot com that will go to right to Amazon, but you'll go through our affiliate link, which will keep us happy. Yeah, use and that, in the use that link to buy everything on Amazon. Yeah. Buy your Halloween candy if you're doing some really early. Chris- I almost finished my Christmas shopping. Are you serious? I'm, I'm waiting to pull the trigger on some things because I'm worried. They're wow. going to be cheaper on Black Friday. I have a, in my to-do list, start Christmas shopping, and it's been on there for weeks, and I haven't done anything with it. Yeah, no, but I also had on my calendar two months before uh, the Simpsons costume contest, which I'm sure you'll talk about at the end of the show. I will. I was like, all right, let me give myself two months, to, and I, I'm probably not going to have a costume because I waited to the very last minute. Yeah, Dan and I waited until the very last minute. Uh, I think I think we have everything, but it's it, we'll see how it comes I, together. I'm, I, I will have nothing. Uh, yeah, we'll have pictures yeah, of that uh, At my backup, I think, maybe I'll, I'll put on a Hagen 88 t-shirt and be <laughs> a black guy. Um, <laughs> That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Yeah. But uh, all right, so we are going to take a break. We're going to watch My Pods and Boomsticks, and, and then we'll be back to talk about it. we got no guests. It's just us. So uh, get ready. I read somewhere your people are hospitable to guests. Is that true? Oh, yes. Praise be Oliver. That's Allah. Yeah, we'll look it up in the corona. So that was My Pods and Boomsticks. It sure was, Jack. And before we move any further, we forgot to say who mentioned it. And what quite a, a shock. Quite a few <laughs> what a surprise. Yeah, quite a few of you mentioned this one, uh, or suggested it rather. So we had Dan Variano. So thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Uh, at Armory the Iceberg. Thank you, Armory Iceberg. Uh, we had Evan S. Thanks, Evan. Evan's ass? Or? <laughs> Evan S. We got Pete S. I don't know if they're related or not. You sure it's Pete S. and Evan S. and not plural Evans and no, Pete's? I, it's, it's, <laughs> like all the Evans in the world be. got together at the Evan conference <laughs> and said, we need to suggest this episode. You going to go to this year's Evan conference? No, because you're not invited because your name is Jack. It says no Evans. That's true. We're allowed all of them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Dylan Carbonell also suggested this one, as did Thanks, Art, Art Garfunkadelic. <laughs> Thanks, Art. Thanks, Art. 
Uh, Johnny Rad. Thanks, Dan. Dan Dennis. That was rad of you. Thanks, Dan. And that was it. Hope Dan uh, so listened to the whole show last week because, uh, or two weeks ago, uh, because uh, he had a pretty epic uh, cut all this. That's true. He did. Uh, so we should just get right into this episode. I guess I'll do a plot recap because uh, I fucking hated this episode. I think it's one of the I... worst ones we've seen. Although maybe I say that all the time. I guess well, it's you just you forget how bad the show is. And we'll get, we'll get into it. There is one big big problem that I had with this episode that Homer we'll definitely Simpson. get into. It, it absolutely it's the Simpsons. It's it is Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh, I was being facetious. No, but you're right. You are 100% the, the right. problem is Homer. But we will talk yeah. about that absolutely. Uh, so, I didn't hate this one as much as you did. Okay, so this episode is pretty clear cut. It's got an A plot and a B plot. Uh, it starts off with uh, some post Christmas jokes. Even though this episode came out in November. Yeah, I didn't get that at all. And but. Lisa sees a new Apple store, uh, so she goes. Uh, let me just correct you real yeah. quick there. Jack, it's not the Apple Store; it's, it's the Maple, Maple Store. Right. They're doing the uh, very different. They're doing the Cosmic Wars thing, and the uh, it's not one? Steve Jobs; yeah. it's Steve Mobs. What, what's the other one they do? That's besides uh, Cosmic, Cosmic Wars Cosmic and War. Maple. Didn't they do a Lord of the Rings one or something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so they're at the Maple Store. Lisa is a, she's a Maple nerd. They establish, even though she's never owned anything by Maple because it's more expensive than other stuff, uh, and it kind of plays into the plot. Uh, so I don't know why she's. <laughs> Into Apple, but she is because you know she's she's kind of arty and hipstery, and we everybody knows we love our Apple. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, she's there, and uh, Steve Mobs gives a speech, uh, launching some new products. I don't know what he does, but uh, Bart. Cuts in and, and pranks the crowd, the Mapple crowd, by uh, impersonating Steve Mobs and saying, you all suck. You're all losers. Uh, well, we'll get into the specifics. We'll get into that. Um, and so they all chase Bart out of the store, and Bart is running to hide, and he hides in some random backyard where he meets a new family that's moved into Springfield. They're Muslim. And this is actually really the A plot, even though My Pods is in the title. Um, so it was Boomsticks, and Boomsticks ties in. Basically, it's the Simpsons meet a Muslim family. That's what this episode is. Yeah, basically, which yeah. I had no idea that this, that was no, any I've, part of I've this seen episode. It, I saw this episode when it aired you know, on DVR, and I don't, I don't, didn't remember this plot yeah. at all. Anyway, uh, so Homer meets this family. At first, he likes them, but then uh, the rest of Springfield is a very, you know, it's, it's eight years after 9-11, so if they're very Islamic, Islamophobic. Uh, they convince Homer that he should also be Islamophobic. He becomes convinced that they're actually terrorists because the father is, works for a construction company that blows up buildings. And he, well, thinks, he doesn't know that. Yeah. yeah, he thinks he's going to blow up a building, blow up the mall. Uh, so Homer tries to stop him from blowing up the mall by taking all the bombs and throws them in the water. And uh, he ends up blowing up a bridge, and then he realizes uh, intolerance is wrong. Uh, real basic stuff. This is literally yeah, Simpsons meet the Muslims. And uh, the B-plot uh, wraps up with uh, Lisa gets an iPod from Krusty that he throws away, and she downloads 1,200 songs, and she racks up a big bill. So she gets the, she goes and sees Steve Mobs uh, and asks for him to please uh, reduce the bill. And he goes, okay, but only if you put a sandwich board and plug Apple. Yeah, pretty so much. So she does, and the episode ends. Yeah, when you say it like that with such enthusiasm, I don't, I, you know, I can't tell you. You didn't like this one? Oh my God. I don't know where to begin. I, I, I didn't like the A plot. I hated the Apple plot. Let's, I also hated the Apple plot, but let's start at the very, very beginning. There were two things in oh, the, the opening. No, no, no. Start, are you starting, are we starting in the very, 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 very beginning? The, the very, couch very, gag? the most beginning you can get. The couch gag? Yeah. Real, okay. real quick, Bart, the, the chalkboard gag was Bart writing Prosperity is just around the corner, which, whatever. That was, I don't know if that's. Anything? I don't know. It's just whatever. Prosperity sounds like some super pack, right? I don't know. But then uh, it, maybe it was a reference to some. Uh, this was super 2008, pack. so maybe it was a, I think a super an election pack. thing. Americans for prosperity or something. I don't Who know. the hell knows? But the couch gag, I think we both really, really liked it. I'm surprised they'd never done it before. It took yeah. them 20 seasons. Uh, the family runs in, and Bart is already there with the chalkboard from the school, <laughs> writing, "I will not bring the chalkboard home" over and yeah. over again. So they replaced the couch funny. gag with another chalkboard gag. Yeah, it was great. I. This is super nitpicking. Actually, I guess they have done that before. Because haven't they had the family run into the school by accident? Have they? I think they might have. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I thought it was just a half a beat too long. He, he, he actually goes back and starts another line. I thought it was just I, a half a beat too long. I actually thought that was funny because the animation of Bart running back to the beginning was... was like it, a typewriter. It, it was kind of funny. Yeah, yeah like a typewriter. Uh, but this was... Typewriters, of, the most funny appliance <laughs> there is. <laughs> this was maybe... I can't, I'm trying to think. This is one of the funniest all-time couch gags we've covered on the show yeah, so we, far. Yeah, we both LOL'd. We both 
laughed out loud. I, I also want to mention before we start the show, um, this was one of the last uh, standard def shows before they switched to HD. Cause yeah, they, they one sp- of the very did, last. They did it right in the smack in the middle of season 20. Yep. And it's a shame because with the sleek, as Lisa calls it, sterile Apple style, this would have looked great in HD, all the Apple stuff. That is a very great point. And also, the, the Muslims would have looked great in HD. You Absolutely. Just, you want to get the, you want to get the pores of the skin and the, <laughs> you know. Sure. All that HD. I don't know what else HD does for skin I don't besides know. pores. <laughs> makes makes the uh, makes them pop. No, there's some there's a joke there. There was some joke there in the ether we could have made. Right. And we didn't. Me get saying it. makes them pop. That wasn't like a suicide bombing. No, reference. Nobody nobody thought that. I, yeah. Nobody thought that. Okay. Good. Uh, so let's Until get into the episode proper. Now, now well, because then it. I was like, is someone going to take that the wrong way? What pops? So oh, bombs pop. Come on. We're doing a podcast on the internet that's extremely subjective. Who's going to take something the <laughs> wrong way? I don't know. People call us social justice warriors all the time, so hopefully uh, no one will think that we're I'm, anti-Muslim. I'm way into social justice, but I'm too lazy to be a warrior. I'm a social <laughs> justice like couch what, potato. Yeah. What's the what was the name of like the Viking who didn't go to the battles? He just kind of Eric the ate, eh. the ate the chicken. Yeah. I'm, I'm Eric, Eric the eh. Eh. Eric the I'm eh. a social justice eh. Yeah. There you go. All right, so the episode starts, and it seemed like it was a Christmas episode because there was a lot it of Christmas things. It literally starts things. with Christmas music. Right. But then it moves into the joke is actually... I went one too many. It's a, you did. <laughs> a lot like a lot of jokes in this episode. Um, <laughs> a, lot like, a lot like a lot of jokes in our shows. That's funny again. No, it's not, is it? No, I don't think so. We'll probably cut this. We probably won't cut this. I went one again too much. Come on. You left me hanging there. It's a Christmas is over sale. And Hey! One too many. All right. It's a Christmas is over sale. And I thought that was kind of funny. They, there's a lot of bits about uh, kind of the transition from Christmas to the next holiday. Like that you see the, uh, the workers, they're at the Springfield Mall. The workers pick up one of the reindeer at like Santa's Village and throw it into that the wood was chipper. My, that was my, maybe my that favorite joke of the really entire time. I laughed so yeah. hard. The visual and the, great the, the visual. execution was great. It was just the deer going face first into the wood, <laughs> yeah. chip, wood chipper. Uh, there was what I didn't wasn't crazy about was they were singing oh christmas tree yo oh, christmas tree yeah, I didn't we're love throwing that you out on the curb or whatever it was it was it was, like, it was uh, not it was not that funny yeah. also it was december 26th i think uh was the joke and uh um you know i feel like until new year's they they I string mean, that shit I, along. I strictly adhere uh, just out of tradition i strictly adhere to the little christmas rule the january 6th is sure. the epiphany which yeah. is uh big with italians i'm not sure it's bigger with other catholics but um I literally leave my Christmas decorations up until January sixth, and then I take them down. That's a good move. Yeah, it's just, it's just. I, mean, you I, do I like it because New Year's, of well, course. Yeah, I like January sixth just because it's like a set date. At least now I know yeah, it's like, it's is nice. this is this too long? Is this too right? Yeah, um, I think it's a good move. But yeah, so it, I don't know. It didn't, it did feel weird. That's December twenty sixth. Let's get rid of Christmas. And like you're saying, the transition yeah. to the what's the next holiday? Yeah, and I liked this. They were like, oh look, they're already getting ready for the next holiday. And instead of Santa's village, they were putting up. Instead of meet Santa, they were putting up meet Doctor King. Yeah, I, I laughed at that. I said that's really funny because Martin Luther King Day is like the next, not really a holiday, it, but the, it's the, the next the, day on the, the calendar. The joke of the sign being replaced, meet Doctor King, was funny. So much funnier than what they did with it immediately yeah, after. Because then you actually have a Dr. King impersonator being the right. mall sitting, Santa. Sitting with talking a mall, to kids. A, a mall king, a I mall guess. King, I guess. A mall African-American hero. There you go. <laughs> a mall American legend. Yeah, and they, um, they do this long bit where he's talking to the kids and then someone comes out and is like, Dr. King, your lunch is ready. And he's like, free lunch at free last. Free at last. Free at last. Because he's free not, from the kids. Not great. Oh, it's terrible. Also, it's not good. again, the next holiday after Christmas is New Year's. Well, that's... I didn't even think about that. You're right. <laughs> that's the next big holiday. You're it's, right. It's only a week away. Yeah, they should have had like a Papa New Year or something. Yeah. But I liked... I really liked the joke like just seeing Dr. King come over Santa, that was funny. Like you didn't need to actually. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. we get the joke. Doctor, it's Martin Luther King Day is coming up. We don't need to. The idea of a, a Martin Luther King small Santa wasn't nearly. I was as trying funny. to think of like what, what would be the Martin Luther King equivalent of an elf, and I I can't think of anything that wouldn't instantly be construed as racist. So yeah, I, 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 I started thinking of a few, and I was like, I'm not I gonna, have one I'm in not my head say that doesn't quite make sense. He's black. That's it. It's Kevin Hart, but, oh. <laughs> but that, that's, that's it. That's all. He's black and short. That's literally the only correlation. Anyway, 
I guess it was racist. It, was, it definitely was. Internet got it right this time. Yeah, maybe we'll, you can cut that. You edit the show, so you <laughs> can cut out whatever you want. Uh, it's too lazy. It's probably in there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we find out the family is all at the mall to return Christmas presents. I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, Marge pulls out a kitty calendar, and it's clearly from kitty. Bart. Kitty, right? Kitty Not, calendar. It sounded yeah. like you saying kitty. I was saying kitty. Right, like a T-T. baby cat. Yeah. Like baby cats, uh, and they, it turns out they're all returning. Bart had gotten them a, this calendar, all four of them, and they're all returning it, and Bart's like kind of mad, but then like not really because he's like, ah, I shouldn't buy it the last minute. It was fine. I liked how he took the, can- the, the candles. He took the candles yeah. and blew them out, and then he <laughs> took the calendars, Yeah. and I liked he looked, and he was like, man, those are some ugly kittens. Yeah, justifying why it was such a bad gift. I, yeah, I do like I the idea of them saying, okay, we're all going to return one gift. Nobody can get offended. And then the, the fact is, if everybody picks right. the same one, he gets offended. Of course. I say, I, it's, it's, How do you get an ugly kitten? No such thing. Yeah. There's no ugly kittens. Kittens are adorable. Yeah, no, it's even the even the you. There are ugly kittens and ugly puppies, but yeah. their ugliness is usually like, oh, that's look part how of the charm. Ugly. Yeah, exactly. Look right. how ugly they are. That's so cute. Yeah, I agree. That's your charm too. Oh, I knew you would. <laughs> You're go so there. ugly. You're cute. What? I'll <laughs> take it. As yeah, long as you say I'm cute. Exactly. All gonna, right. How is that an insult? <laughs> what else do you like about? I literally me, just Jack? compared you to puppies and kitties. All if right, I was just I'll like, You're so ugly. You're ugly, and nobody would want you. We get to the Maple Store, finally, and this was kind of... Uh, I don't remember why we decided to do this episode. I guess just because a bunch of people had well, suggested it. Well, the original... We were supposed to do it a year ago when the iPhone, new iPhone came out. We right. had scheduled it, and then we don't usually look at our schedule, and we no. pick something else instead. Mm-hmm. And then we should have done it for the iPhone 7 launch, but we... Uh, right. Because we're, we're, we were... De- we're a we were off, on that. We were yeah. off for the summer. Sure. So this is technically our iPhone 7 launch, which was a month ago. Sure. I will say this. I ordered an, iPhone, an Apple Watch, um, and I picked... The Nike band, because I, I was like, oh, I don't give a shit about the band. I just want to watch that gives me reminders and shit. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, I'll take that one. And apparently that one adds like a month to the shipping time. Oh, geez. So I haven't gotten it yet. So we can say that this episode is it's, Jack's it's, waiting for his watch Jack's episode. waiting for his, his Apple watch. I think the Apple watch is stupid, and I hate Apple in all of its forms. I do not like any of How their products. How do you product. think it's stupid if you don't actually use the I, apps? I don't need, I don't have any reason to have a, yeah, of course. a watch. But on that's my... what I was saying. How could you call it stupid if it doesn't cater to you? We'll you don't have the apps. We'll see. Like, I, I, use, I, I do have an iPhone. I got it because I use my reminder apps for everything. I literally, yeah. like, if I need to do something, I make Siri but remind what are, me. But what are you getting out of having it on a watch as opposed to having it in your pocket? I don't check my phone all the time. Also, but you're gonna check, are you going to ignore the watch or are you going to check no, the watch? Gonna, I literally, you can't ignore it. It's literally in my face. I'm going to just get my, I'm going to see my reminder. Listeners, put a pin in this. Also, we're going to check in on Jack in like three months also, and see how he's using his watch. How often do you get like a text or something and you re- and you know it's 90% chance you it's not a te- uh, an urgent text, but now you got to dig out your phone or your are carrying groceries. I feel like that's easier than like, oh, I got to like tap my wrist. You don't have to tap. You just look at the notification on the screen. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's, I don't know. I think I, I, I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. All right. Hashtag Team Jack. Hashtag Team Dan. Who's dumb? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let's see. Wearable, um, wearables of the future. Not this one. <laughs> if it was on like your torso, sure. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting a text. Let me just <laughs> Let me take off my, my shirt and look at my belly button. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> the Apple Innie. <laughs> come in, come. Are you an Innie or are you an Audi? I'm an Audi, actually. You're a Google Audi? I'm a Google Audi. <laughs> All right, so we show up at the Maple store. That's our Apple talk. Have we got the Apple talk? I think that's the Apple talk for the episode because we want to talk about Maple instead. Uh, that's their really clever uh, take on Apple, and it, instead of an iPad, it's a MyPad and all that. And it's crap. very besides adding an M, it's very straightforward and having two very bites in the logo. The, the Apple Store, Maple Store looks like an Apple Store. The right. products it's, are very similar. You know, it's the same thing, but slightly Again, different. Again, we've gone over this so many times that we don't have to waste time on it. The whole Cosmic Wars. What, what's the point? Just fucking call it Apple. But I do want to say, if you're gonna change it and you're calling it Maple, which doesn't really make sense, I guess if it's like a Mackle, yeah. like a Mac and an Apple. But the Steve Mobs was. I the was Steve so Mobs insult- was terrible. That's almost like going, yeah, it's Blee Blobs. It really, like, it really R- is Ricky that- Rouse or yeah, Ronald like, Ruck. Yeah, it's so, it's like not even trying. It's yeah, and it's not so blatant. It's funny. It doesn't like come back around again. No, you know, like it our Jingle Bells thing and that also- may or may not be in this episode. <laughs> um, uh, I do like in the Maple Store. Um, <laughs> there's a joke where uh, they're like, "You got to plug it in." Homer's looking at the product. He's talking to one of their genius bars. Yeah, I Brainiacs. like this. I like this too. Uh, and it's a glow. He, he goes, "It's plug. It's it's not it, plugged in." It was the MyQ. Yeah. He's like, it's not plugged in, it's glowing. And he goes, that... That uh, confirms that it is off. Yeah, and it's the perfect Hank Azaria delivery. Yeah. Just that confir- Although I do have products that have LEDs that yeah, are that the never 
go light. off. Yeah. Absolutely. Look, like, I'm looking at your PlayStation 3 right now, and there's a red light that's always on to signif- well, signify the, that it is off. Well, that means it's, yeah, it's I in guess sta- you're right. standby, it's, but like it's, it's, it's off. It's off. Yeah, it's pretty much off. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I and I definitely do have ones that are devices that are like bright LEDs that mean it's yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. Maybe even my MacBooks, I think they have some kind of similar I wouldn't thing. be surprised, yeah. Apple. And those lights, you know, they don't take up that much energy, but there is a thing called vampire drain where mm-hmm. it's like, you know, that might cost you two cents a month or something. Yep. That adds up. Yep. To 24 cents a year. Well, actually, that's why I, you're, it's, it's only on because we were literally just watching TV. Yeah. But I actually do keep all my devices off because of that. Um, I'm, look, not, I'm not surprised If you look at the, the, the TARDIS that's on the wall of Wii Studios, okay. there's a light switch there. Yes. And if you notice, there's no light fixtures in all of Wii Studios. Uh, that switch literally point. just turns off the power, the power to this of the wall. Nice. So anytime I leave the living room, I literally just shut the power off in my living there you room. Go. That's yeah. probably a smart thing to do. Yeah. So I saved those two cents. That's my two cents there you go uh so that's jack's smart thing to do hey here's a not a smart thing to do a long scene where crusty comes in and is like don't get me started isn't anyone gonna get me started i'm so mad about maple don't get me started yeah yeah. not good yeah the whole reason was to at least it was was sad because uh she can't afford to actually have any Apple products, even right. though she loves Apple, which yeah. I found extremely relatable because I'm sure you did. Uh, my, my computers are very old, so yeah. old that they can't take the new operating system update. They're so old. And the last time I got there, they're so old that the last time I bought them, yeah. I was, it was still kind of, I was still young enough for it to somewhat be acceptable that my mom helped me pay for them. Okay. And now I that is now not that acceptable. Is not, not the case. So I really can't afford a new computer and I use yeah. it to edit the show and it's making noises and there's, you know, I Every time we edit an episode, I'm not sure it's going to survive. Right. So I really do want a new Apple, and I, I just can't afford it. So I totally, yeah. I was hoping Krusty would come by and give me a new <laughs> MacBook Pro. <laughs> what if someone, what if a clown walked in the door of Wii Studios right now and was just like, Jack, you want this iPad? It would be really weird and horrifying. It would be. But I'd, I, would, I would prefer it to that <laughs> than to, for it to not to have happened. Yeah, all right. <laughs> For Christmas, I'm going to dress up like a clown. I'm going to bring you that new MacBook, Jack. In the middle of the night. <laughs> yep. I'm going to stab you in the throat, too. <laughs> I hope that's like a Christmas tradition a thousand years from now. Bobby, is the, the Christmas clown going to come in and stab me in the throat and give me a MacBook Pro? <laughs> it's tradition. So, yes, son. <laughs> that's obviously going to happen. Um, yeah. Uh, and then I just the, the whole payoff is just Krusty just gives his MyPad or uh, MyPod to Lisa and now she has a MyPod, and that's, yeah, that's kind and she, of it. She's, uh, she cheers and, and jumps in the air, and there's a classic iPod advertisement in the back, the neon colors with the silhouette. I did actually like this. Lisa, and then they said, uh, no, you can't keep it, or something like that, and she makes a dejected face. Right, and then uh, it's... And then there's a logo it, it with that. It matches her, yeah, You yeah, like yeah. that? I actually did yeah. like that. I, 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 it was cute. Yeah, I, I didn't hate it. I just, like, just thought I'd you, mention it. The, the, the whole, this whole storyline is just, let's make fun of Apple things, and that is a very iconic Apple thing, especially at that time. So um, just throw in there. Okay, so let, let since you said that now, I guess I'll bring it up. This is the, bring it up. My, my biggest problem with this entire episode, even more than the Muslim stuff that we're going to get into. Do you want to just is, should we just talk about the MyPods and Apple then we'll stuff. talk about the Boom I hated this B plot so much, and not because I uh, I love Apple or you know I'm an Apple fan and you uh, do and you are yeah and I'm not like oh they shouldn't insult Apple. Look, sure, I'm a much bigger Simpsons fan than I am an Apple fan. Okay, and I do a show about how much That's I hate the Simpsons. Get ready for so, worst MacBook ever yeah, coming so, next week. I, you know, I I can be I can. Be be mostly objective about Apple. Uh, you you want to make fun of Apple? Sure, that's fine. All right, their um, products are dumb and they are <laughs> expensive. <laughs> they're not dumb. They're very intuitive. They're, they're much better than intuitive. the ones you use. Not intuitive. I don't your like them at all. screen's completely That's because my wife sat on it. <laughs> I haven't well, bought a new one my, yet. My wife sat on mine, and the Apple was is ass proof. <laughs> Well, I mean, they do have a good chassis. They're made of metal. Yeah. No, but they're, they're like, higher end. That's why they're more expensive. They, they're, they're not They're, they're end. high quality. They are not higher the end. The software that is, is much stronger. No, it is not. Yes, that it is, is. That is true. That is not the truth. Op- open source is, is has a lot of problems. It, this it has is not perks. open source. I, I am a Chrome, I'm a Chromebook man. I okay. am like all in with Chrome's Google. Chrome's not open source? Chrome's not open source. There are versions of it that are. I don't know what open source means, to be honest. Well, you get you know you have a closed source, and then you have an open source. No. So, look, you're doing this thing about Apple. Uh, there's got to be. What was the story? What was the B plot? What is the B plot? There's no story at all. There's no story. It's yeah. all just to be make Apple jokes, right? And like you need some. The closest thing to a story is Lisa learns a lesson. She bought too many songs and she got carried away. They right. did that in season what two with the Corey Hotline? Season three? Yeah, season three, I think. Yeah, and s- not not only that, but we don't even much better. We don't see her like buying any of this music. There's yeah. a scene of her playing Miles Davis. 
to Sherry and yeah. Terry. And what playing an itching scratchy episode. And playing an itching scratchy episode. But that episode. has nothing to do with the consumption of it. The download. Nothing. Yeah. It has nothing to do with if anything. If you want to have something about culture, tech culture in general, where it's like, oh my God, things are getting so easy to download. Now that it, right. you, know, you used to have to go to the record store to buy a record. If yeah. you can just click a button, yeah, it's going to add up. If you right. want to have some kind of commentary on that, fine. Uh, if you ha- if you want to the the one thing I think you could really poke fun of at Apple besides you know that that actually has some weight besides like oh these products suck and stuff like that that right. doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, the products is, do it, suck and it does they make don't. sense. Uh, they, the iPhone is a superior phone to no. the only the only False. smartphone. Uh, spec wise, that is better than the iPhone. Is the Galaxy Note Seven, <laughs> and that's blowing up and, and burning. Oh, no, it's out. blowing up, all right. Um, but uh, the, the the biggest thing you can say about Apple would be the, the make fun of is the cult of of Apple. It's like, oh my God, look uh, at absolutely what a cult! Oh, these people are so ridiculous, and they do, but they don't do anything with it. It's all so superficial. Yes, and it's like look, and like I would love for them to to poke fun at the cult of Apple because that's the type of thing the Simpsons can really be great about, like a subversive yeah, satirical exactly. type thing. They're not doing that at all. But they don't do that here. at all. And I do have one note about that. Is Steve Mobs a really dumb, like, it's believe blobs? Or is it some kind of saying, they're saying mobs? Mo- it's, like it's the mob, mob follows uh-huh. whatever Apple says? Uh-huh. I, I, feel like, I feel like that's it's just... pretty weak, though. Yeah, I think it's just because they already established that the Simpsons Apple is Mapple. Right, I, I don't just I, am I, with I actually mobs. think I'm giving them too much credit with that. Yeah, but I don't yeah, know. So my biggest problem with this entire B-plot was that it was all just to make really superficial, lame Apple jokes. If you, yeah. if you had, it had a story and the Apple jokes were icing, great. If there's no story, but it's really great, smart satire about Apple, yeah. great. But it's yeah. none of those things. It's none of those things. The only uh, thing I really laughed a lot at in the whole Apple um, subplot, actually two things. One was the Itching Scratchy episode, which we'll talk about yeah. in a second. But uh, the I other like the, was... I like the Hank Azaria light is off. The light means it's yeah, off. Yeah, I like, I like that, that too. But, but one thing I think we, we yeah, haven't the talked biggest about one yet. is the Steve Jobs. It's the Steve Jobs video that that yeah. that Bart is doing. Uh, you know, Bart. Steve Jobs comes on a big video wall and says, "I have an announcement for all of my Maple fans." Yeah. And then Bart takes a microphone and intercepts it, and so he is doing the audio, but you see Steve Mobs talking, and the lips line up perfectly. And the lips line up perfectly, and Bart goes into this whole thing. He says, "I have a huge announcement. You're all losers." Yeah. And it goes on, and maybe it goes on a little too long, but there's a lot of funny things in it. He says, uh, I pee on all the phones. Yeah, see, I thought it was okay. I like that. I, I laughed. Really, the only time I actually laughed out loud and thought it was really funny was when he said, uh, he goes, uh, our, our iPhones are, cost $700, but they only charge right, they $8 cost- to make, and I peed on every one. Like, the peed on every one line was, was written in very well. Yes, I like the peed on them. Yeah. I, I did really like that But line. that whole thing, I, I really like that. That's a very classic Bart thing to do, and that was... Maybe not subversive, but kind of poking fun at Steve Jobs right. a little bit. I, I and I really didn't like Hank Azaria's Steve Jobs impersonation. It just felt like a, it and just felt kind of like again superficial and somewhat mean because it was so superficial. Well, what was the deal with the lisp thing? Does Steve Jobs even have a lisp? I'm sure, like, he's got. He must have some kind. Of, either either he has some kind of lisp not and they're anymore. exaggerating. He's, dead. he's been dead it. for yeah, years. You but can't have a lisp when you're dead. No, right? Because um, you're not in heaven. No, because you know because there's no God. There's no God. God, we're such social justice. We warriors. really are. We're such atheist warriors. We're poor. Um, so I used uh, to love that show when I was a kid. Atheist, Atheist Warriors. Atheist Warriors. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the uh, we're doing this for no one. <laughs> um, the, uh, the yeah. So the Steve Jobs thing was just it's just yeah. Either he has a lisp, or maybe it's just like hey, how do we how do we make this guy uh, such a nerd? Oh, what if we give him a lisp? Huh? Right. That'll take him down a peg. It just I don't know. It was really just it was weak. Just, it was weak. It was really weak. Um, I did kind of like uh, Bart's doing the whole parody, the voice thing, and it turns into a parody of the famous Apple commercial yeah, if from 1984. Yeah, you do an Apple episode, you have to have a parody of the 1984 commercial. Right, so we get comic book guy coming in with, uh, I don't even know what it was. In the, in the actual commercial, it's a hammer, but right. he throws it into the screen and it, it, it destroys I, the, uh, the I, I, You have to do this parody, and it could be really funny even just referencing it, but I thought they rushed it. It was it was just really, ru- it was like, it wasn't, I don't want to say half-assed, it was yeah. like three-quarter-assed. Three-quarter-assed, It was like yeah. three-quarter-assed, and it's like, like if they just spent a little bit more time on it and just made it really match the commercial, and maybe it would, it, the, the, I mean, the, it was the, there. Uh, the a epic, lot of the match was there, but it was there in that like, oh yeah, I didn't recognize that. Right. Whereas if maybe you had made it as slow and epic as a commercial, you would have. It would have actually just been funny at just how slow and epic and match and matching the commercial was. Maybe I, and the way they they executed, I was just like, hey, remember the 1984 commercial? Here we, we just did it. Here's it, the well, 1984. It was, it was definitely reference humor. Like, yeah. oh, I recognize that. Yeah. But you know, I, I still kind of liked it. Yeah. Um, let's just bang out every 
piece of this uh, this yeah. plot. Um, I guess the oh. next thing is just the yeah. uh, the itching scratchy. So she cartoon. gets this iPod yeah. from from Krusty, right? Uh, and that's where she's getting the music. This is two thousand nine or two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. It's funny late, that late they were still doing the iPod because by the, the iPhone uh, hit the ground running uh, and and pretty much took out iPods. People still had iPods in two thousand eight. Yeah, but they were gone. Pre- it, they they disappeared very quickly. So it, well, it's funny yeah. how you know. I don't know. You'd think they would make it more about smartphones, especially since. Uh, a lot of people think, and I might agree, that s- the smartphone revolution might be the biggest uh, yeah. tech, oh, absolutely. tech revolution uh, since electricity. Bigger, I mean, even bigger than the internet. Obviously, we, it needs the internet, right. but it might be the, like, the, we might not see something change our lives as much as iPhones and the smartphones have sure. in our lifetimes. There might not be another big one until we're I don't know if I agree man. with you on that. I mean, machine learning it, and our, stuff like our that. Our lifetime is, you know, we're going to see some crazy I mean, shit. We're gonna Unless see we self, die tomorrow. I mean, we're going you know, to see people go to Mars. We're going to see self-driving cars. We're going to see stuff, AI, man. That stuff might... AI is the only one that that could yeah. uh, overthrow. You're going to have AI in your smartphone, but and that, you won't need a butler. But that AI might not be as game changing that good until we're we're old men but it's probably it probably will i think it will be but, but if it doesn't pretty much we're not seeing any tech we're going to see lots of technical improvements but they're not going to they're going to not be as game changing as electricity was in the early 1900s and as right. smartphones were in two th- in the late two- 2010s yeah i mean smartphones were were huge cuz now everyone just has a little computer in their pocket and you can do a ton of shit with that yeah you know so, it changes it literally changes it like everything. electricity it changes everything it touches you know one thing you can do with it you can watch exclusive itchy and scratchy episodes if you're Lisa Simpson you can listen to our podcast. And you can listen to our podcast. We what do studios, you think of the we podcast. Com. Uh, I liked it. It was called Dipod Slay List, and it started with a really funny gag where uh, Itchy goes up to Scratchy. Scratchy's listening to a my a my pod, bleh, and he raises the volume all the way up and then keeps going so that the volume bar goes out of the, the, the my yeah. pod <laughs> into the air and it kind of blows his uh, his head open. I thought he was going to use the volume bar. To, like, I thought he was going to snap gonna, it off. Yeah, so did I, and stab him with it. Uh, that didn't happen. And then the rest of the Itchy and Scratchy episode is just its own thing about time travel and nuclear well, bombs. It has brain, nothing to do with brain, iPods. His brain melted, so Itchy replaced it with Einstein's brain. Right, but it was just interesting to me that... Uh, you know, it's it called Dipod yeah. Slaylist. There's no Apple the, humor in yeah, there the except whole, for that volume bar. Right. Thing. The whole concept is what if Itchy, what if Scratchy had uh, Albert Einstein's brain? Right. And he, he invents a bomb, and then yeah. there's time travel, and it ends with Itchy at Studio 54 yeah. in the 70s. This was for some maybe reason. the weirdest Itchy and Scratchy I've ever it was, seen. It was weird, but I, I liked it. I like Itchy and Scratchy in general. I do too. Uh, this one, uh, this, I, at first, I was on board with the volume and all that, and uh, even the first yeah. uh, couple of Einstein gags. It went on too long for me. I wasn't crazy about it. Okay. I, I, I dug it. Um, I had no, there's really nothing to say about Lisa sitting with Sherry and Terry and playing the Miles Davis because that was just like nothing. There was nothing there's, really there's there. No, there's nothing here. It's just uh, like Lisa playing with Apple toys so that they can make Apple jokes. There was nothing here. Yeah. Uh, and later on in the episode, she gets a gift from Apple, which turns out to actually be her bill. Uh, she owed twelve hundred dollars for downloading twelve hundred and eighteen songs. <laughs> Yeah, I like that she got it, a couple for free, or I guess it maybe it just yeah, bounces out because they're ninety nine cents. I thought I misheard it. I thought was it was it? Oh my god, my bill was for twelve hundred and twelve dollars. How could it be? Oh, I downloaded twelve hundred twelve songs and it was a dollar a bit. And I was like, that's a funny joke. Or did she really say twelve hundred? And then I think it was she said twelve hundred, and then it was. But I only downloaded twelve hundred and twelve songs. Yeah, I feel like the joke only works if the numbers are the same. No, I think that's better because they're ninety nine cents each. So I I, I get uh, I think the joke is you know you get some that seems low. 1,212 songs at 99 cents. Let's see. Let's get to the old calculator. Nope, I'm already doing it on my Chromebook. Oh, I did 1,200 times 12. I don't know why. I got That's not yeah, the answer. 12.24. 12. I uh, Siri, The Siri is great with the calculator. I use it for everything. Siri is great with your calculator. You're, you're, you're just on what the wrong asshole. side of the app log. What an ass. Uh, yeah, so she gets this big bill, and then she has to go to Steve Mobs' underwater complex, which is basically just an underwater Mapple store. Yeah. I liked, I think you liked it too, that she had to take this submarine there that was shaped like a USB drive. Yep, yep. That was, and it had to dock into the I, map store. I love store. the idea of a that USB drive, a flash drive shaped submarine right. that uses the USB port as a dock. Very clever. Very silly, but funny and a good visual. That was the only thing I liked. Like the the uh, like the, the Apple store employees using the, the earbuds as lassos and stuff. No, that, all that wasn't just felt that. like, I don't know. It, it just feels like they're trying too hard. I don't know. Yeah, and then she meets Steve Mobs and he's like, yeah, you know, if you work for 
for me, and she ends up working on the corner, like saying "think differently" to a bunch of different people while dressed yeah. like a MyPod. And again, they make some Steve Jobs jokes about he, you know, he he he's obsessed with numbers. He's obsessed with statistics. Yeah. what a businessman! I, I I don't know what the hell's going on. It was weird. You called this the B plot, but this was like not even a B plot. This was like a C plus plot. It's certainly the B plot in terms of the story time it takes it is. and the how separate it is. But because there's no story and because the 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 commentary that uh, is the basis right. of the whole idea is so superficial, very thin. That's why it feels like a C D E plot. It does, and it just if it, it's not, it's given maybe like five minutes overall after the whole family leaves the Apple Store, and it's and, just and how it, jarring is it there. that when the A plot does wrap up, they're just that's like, exactly hey, what I was going to say. Where's Lisa? Let's conclude the right. The, the, Apple the plot. episode comes to its logical end with the Muslim family, and then there's just like another two minutes of Lisa and Steve Mobs, and it's just like, okay, this is terrible. <laughs> I'm begging you. Sir, it's not even turned on yet. But it's glowing. That light confirms that it's off. Yeah, all right. So um, that's it for the Lisa MyPod stuff. So let's go back to the future. <laughs> We've got to do something about your kids, Jack. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. That wasn't the song we were doing before. <laughs> yeah, it was. Was it? That was my joke. Was I was kind of like start right. with Back to the Future, and I, then we, I figured. we go, oh, we're doing Jingle Bells, but... This is all cut now, right? <laughs> the, the Batmobile lost its wheel, and that joke lost its way. Whale. All right. Um. So yeah, let's go back to the the the, the Muslim family subplot. Oh, man, um, if I had a nickel. <laughs> you know, I had no idea that th- that was in this episode. Kind of timely. We got uh, we got an election coming up. Where are there Muslims running? There's yeah. You didn't know Donald Trump was a Muslim. <laughs> I I want to see his birth certificate. <laughs> well, you know he's all about like the Syrian refugees and all that kind of all that stuff. I don't know. I don't deal with politics <laughs> stuff. I guess it's timely. It's like if they had it's done t- a Russian well, Russian episode at any time between 1945 and 1991. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's yeah, as timely it's t- as any post 9/11 <laughs> episode would be. You're right. <laughs> Which is pretty much all Which of them. Which is pretty much all of them. All right. Fine. Are whatever. Um. So yeah, Bart runs away from the Maple yeah, Store. Yeah, he makes some kind of Dane Cook line. All I did was write Dane Cook line and a frowny he, face. Yeah, what, what? I don't remember. he said, uh, all I did was hold a mirror up to society's like foibles or something. Now I know how Dane Cook feels. Yeah. Terrible. I, I hate jokes like that. Yeah, I hate that too. Like, yeah. awful. And I don't like Dane Cook very much either. <laughs> <laughs> waffle Meyer! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that was a, that's a deep cut from Mystery Men from 1999. But, uh, yeah, Bart's getting chased away, and he just kind of meets a Muslim kid in the backyard whose name is Bashir, and it's fine. I was just like, oh, I didn't know that this was where this episode was going, but they hit it off right away. He uh, has Bart try lamb, and Bart thinks it's great. I liked this a lot. This started off with Bart and him. They become friends, and there's this whole scene where Bart is taking him to Springfield Elementary, and he's like, okay, Principal Skinner, like, he's a wiener. Groundskeeper Willie, we call him like grounds crapper or silly or something. It was something I, I terrible. I, I hated this almost as much as I hated the, the apple plot. I, really? I, I thought this was such an unfunny episode. All right, broad strokes, first of all. All right, let's do let's I literally, I literally wrote, what is this, an all in the family episode? Because all in the family always had Archie meets a black guy and learns that black people are just like him. And right. Archie meets a gay guy and learns gay people are just like him. And yeah. this was literally the Simpsons meet a Muslim family. That's. That's the whole thing. So, There's no story besides they meet a Muslim family and Homer thinks that they're secretly terrorists. I agree with you. That's more story than the Apple plot. I'll say that much. I but. agree with you that because the problem here is that this is a Bart episode that becomes a Homer episode yeah. for no yeah, reason. it's very jarring. Uh, and it's jarring because the episode should... We do this from time to time. We're going to rewrite the episode. Mm-hmm. Here's how I would redo mm-hmm. this episode. Homer, you know, you can still have Homer become the xenophobic whatever after racist Mo and Lenny and Carl talk to him. We can talk about that in a second. <laughs> But the episode wasn't that, then wasn't that the third wave of Simpsons action figures racist it was. Lenny and Carl. Yeah, they, I don't want to tell you what accessories they came with. <laughs> what what, the, what they they could talk right? <laughs> I hope not, <laughs> for your sake. Um, so yeah, I, I think this should have been a Bart episode. He becomes friends with this Muslim kid. Bart doesn't care that he's different because Bart is sort of progressive like that. And I uh, want to talk. Put a pin on that because I I want to talk about that. Okay, uh, I think it would have been better if he is friends with the boy, and maybe Homer, maybe somebody else is like, ah, oh, he's Muslim, and that's kind of weird. And Bart is like, you know, no, it's not. Like, who cares? It doesn't matter. Then maybe Bart sees the dynamite because Homer sees it later, and it's like, oh my god, they're terrorists because that's the only reason they would have dynamite. Have Bart do that. So Bart's now questioning his own views and has to kind of reaffirm, like, no, this guy's my friend. I don't care what religion he is. It doesn't matter. 
That's in, that's better. Yeah. Instead, I, you have Homer being like super racist. Yeah. Running around about with bombs and uh, we'll get now, to that, it. I mean, your version is definitely better. I honestly, I can't tell. I don't know what the right answer is. I feel like just even having the are they secretly terrorists, the bomb plot, I can't tell if that's just straight up in poor taste or if that's or if there's a way I to do it. I did want to talk about this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there a way to do it where like, you know, I, I don't want to be PC police. It's like, yeah. you know, you can PC do, principle. Exactly. There's there's thing. There's associations you can make where where they're so superficial that it is in poor taste. And yeah. there's associations where you can make, where you can go, we can hang something very funny and have something very smart and, and subversive right. on this concept. So, and I can't tell which one, if what category, oh, are they terrorists, falls into. Yeah. If you didn't watch the episode, it turns out that Bashir's father works in demolition. And so he has all this dynamite, and Homer overhears him talking about blowing up a building because that's his job. I didn't know... I, I still don't know what I totally think. Like, is that clever? Because now it's it's still like, you know, I I need I'm doing this for the profit. No, no, like that lines was, like that. Yeah, that was not a great line. You know, as in as in profit of F- his company. F I T yeah. and uh, P H E T. You know, I'm gonna kill myself doing this job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, I'll be in a better place, a new corner office. Right. It was not the best. I don't know. I don't yeah. know how I feel about it. I, I I just think there's there's something to this idea of having like a Muslim guy be yeah. a demolitions. Paid demolitions expert. Uh, it I almost guess. feels too easy to me. It maybe it does. Know. It's just like, hey, they're not all suicide bombers. Some of them, right, blow right, our construction. I, right. I some of them are supposed to blow things up. Uh, I, th- I think that in the end, I think that's my problem with. Uh, like, look, I, I, I do think maybe. Do you think you think it would have been better if we got rid of all that entirely and they're just a fucking normal family? I do like the idea. Exactly, I do like the idea of doing a Muslim family based plot, just because they are a significant portion of the world. They're a significant portion of the country. Sure. They're relevant right now yeah. uh, more than ever. Uh, and it would be good for a progressive show like The Simpsons to do uh, an all in the family type episode where you know we have some well rounded Hol- Muslim Homer's characters. phobia yeah. for Muslims. Yeah, or even that too. Yeah, um, but. It's, I don't know if to, by hanging a whole episode on them, the, f- the mere fact that they're Muslim, that's not enough for me. It's just like, uh, all, right, all right, guys, uh, let's pitch the ideas. Uh, all right, uh, well, we have the Homer meet some new neighbors. Okay, what's their thing? They're Muslim. End? Right, you there know, is like, no end. Yeah. That's why I think if it was a Bart episode, you have like, it's, it's more about racism that might be entrenched in an older generation, yeah. maybe. And that's something you could play Although off of. Where Grandpa's Bart... the oldest, and he thinks they're Italians. I thought that was that very was funny. That was pretty funny, yeah. uh, Especially like in New that. York, uh, we're not too dissimilar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Um, yeah, but I think if it was, if it was more grounded in a, the friendship between Bart and Bashir, Bashir kind of falls away. Like, well, he's he, not even in the, the episode thing, very much. There's no character there. Besides, he's overly polite, which some Muslim that was families a, that are, That was too, a terrible but, scene, also. I mean, a lot of immigrant families are overly polite because they, they're afraid to not be polite and get beat up. Right, but, yeah, But uh, yeah, yeah. besides him being overly polite, there's no... None of, the, none of them really have any character. No, just, especially not. Uh, her name is. I'm yeah, gonna, so we I'm going to mispronounce say, we it completely. Say, yeah, the the mother was played by uh, Shorey Ag- Agdashlu. Yeah, and now she's she's Hollywood's go to. Oh, is this character slightly older female and uh, is either Mus- right. Muslim slash Arab slash Persian? Let's get Shora. Shora. <laughs> yeah, Academy Award nominee, uh, Emmy winner. Yeah. She is she, like she, the go to yeah. Iranian actress. Ex- exactly. Yeah. You've seen her in something, I'm sure. X Men Three and uh, she was Doctor Kavita Rao Star, in X Men Three. Star Trek Three. I didn't. And, I don't uh, know if she was in Star Trek Three. She is. Okay. Star Trek Beyond. Well, Star Trek Beyond. Oh, I didn't see that. Star Trek. I saw a Search for Spock. <laughs> I didn't see Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she is wasted in this episode because she plays she's Bashir's drunk mother. Recording the yeah, whole, she was shit faced. <laughs> she's just like, I don't know, fuck you. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's a, it's, she's a waste. Uh, and I guess, I, I guess, I was gonna say, why didn't they get uh, somebody like, um, oh, who plays uh, also in Star Trek? Uh, yeah, I want to say Bashir as well. Benedict da- Cumberbatch, da- da- Damian Bashir, who plays the guy in Star Trek, and he's also in he's, he's Eric he's Banner, Game of Thrones. He's the ki- the handicap king. That has like two scenes before they kill him off. Spoilers. Uh, for the yeah, I know who anyway, you're talking about. It he's, might be he's, a, this he's year. one of the Hollywood's go-to Muslim actors. Yeah, right. and, I was, and I was like, why didn't they fill out the whole family with with? And, I agree but now with you. you're right. I guess it would have been a waste of more people. True, you're right. I bet just like give the mother more to do. Maybe there isn't even a father, and it's just her. Yeah. Like why? Why are we doing it this and way? And not just more to do. Make uh, like give them characters. Like you know, they need to be more yeah. fleshed out. Really, they do. And I think we know a thing or two about. Fleshing out characters. Yeah, I think so too. 
Um, okay, bye, everyone. <laughs> oh, good. That was that was better than I expected. I don't. Uh, so, you, you you always think it's gonna be a long thing with free. And I'm ninety. I'm, I'm, well, I'm you're right, right this ni- time because I'm back. <laughs> I have opinions about Muslims as well. I think they should be tolerated. All right, thanks for religious it. freedom is important in America. Freedom. <laughs> let let freedom, freedom ring. <laughs> absolutely, live free or die. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, no, it, it, I, so my biggest problem is like, there, there's no, st- I guess there is a story if you're going to hang it on, uh, are they secretly terrorists? Well, but the, I, the I story really, is Homer yeah. becomes a racist and just assumes that they're, he doesn't just assume cause he overhears that stupid conversation. He thinks he's going to blow up the mall. But I don't know. It just felt really <sighs> preachy to me because it felt, it felt especially preachy because both Homer and Bart start off well, just immediately being like, hey, tolerance is the right way to do it. And don't leave him alone. And I don't yeah. buy that for either of the characters. I can't I don't see Bart defending this Muslim kid. Just he's like, it hey, didn't man, feel earned. You're hey, right. Yeah, exactly. It's like, hey, man, don't don't bother a kid just because he's different. That's not what Bart would say. Right. I mean, there's try- it was too heavy handed. You could have had Bashir do something to kind of win Bart over, arguably feeding him lamb. That's what I was is gonna that s- no? I was going to say, it should have started with him rescuing Bart or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that is like, oh, this guy's kind of cool, and now we're friends. Yeah. And then he and find, hang the episode yeah, on exactly. that. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the crux of your episode, not fucking my pods and boomsticks. And he goes, eventually, he, you know, he goes, uh, what religion are you anyway? Muslim? And Bart's like, whoa, uh-oh. So it yeah. almost should have been where, well, you know, where Bart know. finds out he's Muslim, and he's an eight, he's a 10-year-old kid. He's just yeah. like, yeah, okay, whatever. Exactly. He did, like, he Bart shouldn't know. give a shit. Yeah. Like, what's the difference? I don't, I don't, and if then, I was 10, and, I didn't give a shit. And then the adults freak out, and he's like, wait, what's the big idea that's what i'm saying and i think that then you have the bart's friendship with this kid be tested based on everything everyone else says so instead of stumbling into his backyard and having yummy lamb he should have been being chased by the mob this kid says hey up here in my tree house you know it goes oh cool oh you got radioactive man guys hey oh we're just a couple of kids right uh, by the way i'm muslim oh oh, okay whatever that is yeah sure right and then hey dad this is my muslim friend Bart could just say it at dinner or something yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. and then homer and marge are like "Mm, i don't know about this muslim yeah i don't know who that was also (laughs) i think it was homer and Mars at the same it time. Home it was like my parents. <laughs> uh, yeah. So no, it, they definitely should have done something like that because uh, I don't know the way. But it that, is, that, it's, that couches the episode in character and yeah. relationships between those characters, yeah. as opposed to whatever the fuck this was. Because you get a scene in this episode where, well, first you have the scene where Homer meets Bashir and Bashir like butters him up, and Homer's like, "Ooh, I like this," which was stupid. Uh, it was terrible. Uh, I don't know what the point of that scene was, but then the next scene is Homer at Moe's. And all of a sudden, this is weird when they do when they do these kind of topical uh, issue episodes. Let's say they always seem to turn normal Springfieldian characters into mouthpieces. M- mouthpieces, how, however they need them. Yeah. So you have Lenny and Carl and Mo, which is not cool by the way. That's bad writing. Yeah, all of a sudden they're just like, oh, Muslim, huh? Like, uh, I don't I, know. I don't know if you should let your son hang I out with know. a Muslim. I mean, it's not totally unbelievable just because Islamophobia was especially. Ten years ago, or even eight years ago, yeah, is so prevalent that you, in small town in Middle America, which Springfield represents, it kind of is. I would kind a, of a argue it's worse because of that, because you're dating this episode to a very, yeah. very specific time, when and the Simpsons used to be also, more even, timeless. Yeah, and even though Homer learns his lesson and, and has a tolerance picnic, right. you're almost kind of normalizing <laughs> tolerance picnic. Not a bad name for this episode. <laughs> you're uh, you're kind of normalizing uh, Islamophobia, and Agreed. you're you're almost saying hey, it's okay. You know, that's just how people are. Right. And that's not cool. No. That's a bad message to be giving out. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And there was a weird, like, 24 parody that was on the bar that was absolutely Which nothing. Which also is weird because Jack Bauer exists in this universe. We saw that in 24 minutes. You're right. So, wait, he he exists as a fictional character and as a real character? Like, is he is he from the fifth dimension? I, is he, Jack Bauer a Mr. Mix? Mr. Mix's pick like... He must be. But after that 24 parody, it seems like Mo is encouraging Homer to torture the Muslim family. Well, Lenny, too, right? Well, right. Lenny, there's this whole running thing with Lenny as a thought bubble, which we'll, we'll talk about yeah. in a second. But yeah, it was it was just a weird, I guess it makes sense for Mo, like post-classic Mo, who's just like a monster person. I think in the bar, Mo is like, yeah, invite them over and then torture them or whatever, which is fucked up. So then we have a scene where uh, Bashir's parents come over to meet the Simpsons yeah, and but, they have dinner together. But is this, this might, may or may not be, but let's just say it is. I think it is. This is where there's a light bulb scene for no reason. Right. Bart's well, that, that was uh, before, but yeah. All right. Homer's installing the, the twirly fluorescent bulbs, which have quickly, uh, they're also now been made obsolete by LED bulbs. They're, uh, yeah, right, right, Which right. is really funny because they were supposed I to be the new. I still use those. I still use them too, but they're, they're, 
They're, you got one right there. I know, the studios here. That's because they last forever. I, they do last forever. They're <laughs> but, great. Uh, but apparently you're supposed to, you should do LED now. Right, right. Better. But, LEDs but anyway, and he puts it in. He goes, well, uh, don't worry. I disposed the old light bulbs in a safe manner. And they cut to burning in the backyard. Yeah. That's it. The whole thing was just... Kind of, I, think I don't it, know what that was. It was a light bulb joke, and I think they just wanted to be like, "Hey, how about those twirly light bulbs? That's a thing, huh?" I think it was. By just, the way, that's a scientific name. Oh, the twirly light bulbs. Twirly yeah, light bulbs. just like a pig's tail is twirly. <laughs> uh, Tur- curly straight, <laughs> twirly straight. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I mean, I, that scene was kind of the start of Homer being the star of the episode. Yeah, you're right. And that's definitely something I've seen more and more of as we watch these post classic yeah, episodes. Yeah. I'm so fucking sick of I don't Homer like, Simpson. Well, not only Homer Simpson, I don't like them switching from one character to another. Although yeah. I guess it usually is turning to Homer because he's the star. Ho- Homer's the star of every episode. It yeah. didn't used to always be that no, way. No, of course not. Bart was the first couple of seasons. Bart was. The I know. I know one. that. And it was. It just seems like now it's like, okay, how's Homer going to react to this? I don't yeah. fucking care about how Homer reacts to Muslims. I yeah. want to see like a good episode of television. Yeah. yeah. And I, I just feel like Homer say, ruins that, a lot that, of episodes. That's what ruined the the, the Futurama future plot uh, last week. Or yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say last week. Last week. Last, last episode. episode. Um, because they had to have Homer go into the future because he's Homer. Even though, he, right. story-wise, he should have been in he the past with the Bender. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Um, so Homer invites the family over. Okay, and let's talk about this Lenny thing. So Homer sees a thought bubble of Lenny, and Lenny says, the doorbell will tell you when they're here. I laughed at that. I thought that was funny because that's yeah. just like a stupid, obvious yeah, thing. Like, yeah, and I can see Homer doing but then they go back to the Lenny well a few times where Homer keeps seeing like a thought bubble of Lenny. And Lenny well. The, the Lenny well, not a terrible name for the episode either. But uh, the second one was Lenny said something stupid and I was like, okay, they're overdoing it. It was yeah. funny just for the one time. And then the last time was he goes to Lenny, but Lenny is in the shower. Yeah. I yeah. kind of thought that was funny, but I feel yeah. like they've done similar jokes like that in the past. Like, yeah. Even episodes know. that we've watched. Is it, the, the, I don't know. A lot of these jokes, uh, I don't know if it's because we're doing 87 episodes of the show. Yeah. I don't know. I, they run I, together? I, like, I, I, can't tell, I can't say whether I liked it or didn't like it. It just does nothing for me. It's just, it's just, it passes right through me. It's like, uh, it's like Vision and going through sure. Giant Man in uh, yeah, yeah, Civil yeah. War spoilers. For, for <laughs> I Civil think War. a man just passed through me. <laughs> yeah, it literally just like, fly, it just goes right through me. Yeah. Just like Taco Bell on a Friday night. If I ate Taco Bell, which I don't. Well, I do. It goes right to me. <laughs> um, also, there was a there was a weird th- this whole this whole dinner thing was this, this, stupid and weird. Uh, this dinner secret. This dinner epitomizes the entire plot of how superficial and empty it was. Yeah, because uh, it, it really boiled down to this one scene, basically, where he's trying to get them to a, cut an American flag cake to show they're anti-American. Which, by the way, apparently it had poison, poison in yeah, it. Yeah, Maggie tries to eat it at the end of the scene. Right, and Homer's like, oh, don't eat that, it's poison. So Homer's trying so to Homer kill... So Homer was literally trying to kill someone based yeah. on their race. Now, maybe maybe you think it's funny to have that as a button, uh, but you you discredit the whole scene. You discredit Homer as a character by putting a button like that, and the button's not even funny. Right. It's not even I, funny. It adds nothing. I agree. Though I did think the idea of bringing out a cake that is the American flag and giving someone a knife to cut it, that's kind that, that of is funny. funny. Well, that's a funny idea. I remember when I was in an art class in college, they, yeah. they had somebody uh, come in, and his project that had made him famous in the art community was you had to look at this video. I think it was about racism. I don't know what it is. Okay. But to look into the video was like a Nickelodeon type of thing you had to look sure, into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to step onto a mat, and the mat was an American flag. So basically, you had to step on the American flag to view his art. Uh, uh, I, I mean, it's kind of... That, that's kinda, kinda, one of those make you think. Yeah, it's, it's, kinda, I can't, it's like almost a make you think, almost uh, still kind of yeah. like high school like oh yeah, look what I'm doing look how edgy this yeah, is yeah yeah exactly there is, I, I don't know it reminded me of that yeah. um, also there was a line I did really like speaking of uh, coll- about, is- college jokes uh, anti-Americanism okay uh, I did like where uh, Homer says hey we're still the more powerful country for a few more years oh yeah I did I like do, that too I like it because it wasn't forced it was just in there I like subtle references right. to hey uh, in the real world you know in the real world America is you know in, in the historical timeline an empire uh, yeah, on the decline exactly <laughs> and China's coming and you know all that distilled well, into a real quick line I mean once once we vote Trump into office and he makes America great again we of won't course, have anything course. to worry about Chris, we'll but be back on top baby absolutely we're going to get letters being like, I'm tired of this anti-Trump pro-atheism agenda you guys are pushing. And apparently a small child is writing this letter. <laughs> Signed a wee listener. Dictated but not read. Uh, <laughs> keep that in. All right. All right. And, and this note explaining to keep that in. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
So there's that whole thing. We, we kind of talked about it, about the bombs and everything. I don't even really want to get into it. It was whatever. Yeah. Um, Homer goes and talks to Marge in the bedroom. Uh, and uh, there was a magazine gag here. It was uh, barely regal. And it was a, it was about I didn't, a, even, the, I didn't even see it that. It was about the king in Norway. I was just like, yeah, that's a, that's a ba- pun. Barely regal. Oh, that's, I get that's it. That's like literally a pun for pun sick. It's just yeah, like, what's the point? That doesn't add I anything. Mean, they, they've done much better freeze frame. Guys. I don't know. So Homer pun- is now freaking out about this Muslim family, uh, and uh, he goes into this dream sequence. Yeah, where he is yes. riding on a magic carpet. That we're hearing uh, a sound-alike version of Holy World from Aladdin. Picture the writers in the writers' room. Okay, we're doing an episode about Muslims. All right, top five Muslim things that we can make fun of. You know, same thing with the apple. Sure, uh, Aladdin. That's a Muslim thing, huh? Well, huh? what what I, I, I you know, you're right. It is a Muslim thing, but it is kind of. It was very shoehorned in. Yeah, it was very much. Pop, 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 pop. pop. But uh, it did give a chance for Dan Castellaneta to voice the genie, which he did do in the movie Return of Jafar and for the Aladdin TV right. series. So I wanted to ask you, so as, that was a, an interesting as a, as a law law, and as, as someone a who knows a little right. bit about copyright law law, I know some. Something. All right. So if it's, it, it does it cross a line from being a parody of Aladdin, because at one point he does actually refer to himself as genie. If right. you have Dan Castellaneta using his genie voice to voice the genie in this. Again, parody. Are because it's the same guy doing the same voice. Aren't they basically just stealing Disney IP? Well, is it crossing a line from parody I think, to? I think the biggest problem would be how close the genie looked to the genie from he Aladdin. He looked pretty close. He the actually vo- did look really close. The voice wasn't exact. I noticed uh, either he forgot how to do the voice, or he got sure. older, or whatever, or it was intentional. The voice was slightly different from the voice he used. Yeah, when he yeah, did yeah. Genie. I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I feel like you're crossing a I line think it there. Was a, I think it was a very close line to cross. Like, like he do, wasn't even yeah. yellow. Maybe if the genie was yellow, that could have been something. But he was yeah. like the same color blue. Like if in Family Aladdin. Guy did. A joke with the genie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're spoofing the Aladdin. They're spoofing Disney. That's fine. But right. if you have the guy that did the voice, and obviously not Robin Williams, not the prominent guy, but a guy who right. did a significant amount. Yeah. Aren't you basically just taking a Disney character and using it without paying Disney? I would say yes. So Disney, yeah. if you're out there, I, so, would, I might send them a I'm letter. Just, so yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not criticizing them for. I don't give a shit. They're both, right. they're no, both billionaire companies. I don't care. Exactly. But I'm just, I'm curious. I'm surprised the writers risked it. I guess is what I'm saying, or not the writers, uh, the, the show itself. Yeah. Risk, you know. I mean, look. I think the 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 likelihood of Disney actually doing anything is probably pretty really. Low. I thought they're pretty litigious. Uh, I mean, they are, but you know, Disney's too busy printing money. <laughs> anyway, well, not they weren't at the time. They hadn't. They, no, at the time. I mean, they were they doing just, well, but they, they weren't just, doing Marvel Star Wars well. They were just about. They just bought Star Wars around this time. Yeah, and were about to buy Marvel. Yeah. Anyway. But anyway. Uh, yeah. The whole the whole thing with the genie turning things Muslim too. I don't. Know, I, I really have nothing to say about that. It yeah, was, it he was just stupid. basically can, turns the world Muslim, which is what a lot of people are afraid of now. That's relevant with all the Syrian refugees and how uh, it's going to. Uh, uh, what's the word? Like, not water down our culture, but uh, make it more Muslim, I guess. Make I it guess, more Syrian. I don't know. I don't know but Muslim it up a little bit. One of the biggest, are obviously, the, one of the biggest arguments against the Syrian refugees is they're going to come in here and they're going to make things more Syrian because yeah. they want it to be like where they live. So that's literally what this was, was the genie making everything Muslim. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, yeah, I whole, have nothing to say about it and it was just kind of a thing that happened. Yeah, it, had no, it did nothing for me. I did like, out of that whole dream sequence, I did like him going, no, at the end of the dream and then it oh, just yeah. stays on him he's just like oh usually the dream ends ends at this point right I and like that. and that's a fun ends. little joke on dream sequences that just and, felt and, like and it didn't more... feel shoehorned into me because it was it was it flowed. That just felt like to me more of the post classic Simpsons, like, ah, oh, we're pointing out yes. like things that used to be things, yeah. and now we're not doing I that. I 100% thing. agree, but it flew, it was flowing. It, it, it flowed worked. enough so that it just came and went. Yeah, and I liked I didn't, it. I, didn't I, love I it. thought it was fine. I didn't love it. Something else I didn't love Homer goes to visit Bashir's mother, and he is like, <sighs> he says, Praise be Oliver. And she's like, It's a law. And he goes, Ah, we'll look it up in the corona. Huh? Huh? I got the Terrible. words wrong. I got the words Terrible. wrong. Terrible. That was huh? bad. I got the words wrong, huh? Isn't that isn't this? Hey, oh, guys. the joke is he got the words wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, next I get time because he's dumb. Yeah, no. Next time, uh, Al Jean uh, wants to say, uh, hey, yeah, I got an Emmy. I know what we're. You know, you guys can criticize us all you want. I got an Emmy because uh, we're great writers. Yeah, thanks for the uh, Oliver line. Yeah, here's Look your. Look it Emmy. up in the Corona. Yeah, here's your Emmy. Yeah, well deserved. Look it up in the Corona. <laughs> <laughs> to like Dennis Miller what is, here. Like what is? It's just so late. It's so stupid. I don't know. And it get it gets worse. There's a whole scene with the mother, which I don't even fucking remember what happened. It was nothing. But then Homer goes to try and look throughout he's the house. He's apologizing, by the way. He's he's he well, saw the, the error in his ways. The dream no, convinced him, right? No, no, oh, no. He's no. looking. 
He's actually he, just is, using this as an excuse to look for evidence? He's using this as an excuse to look for bombs in their house. Uh, oh, this no, is he, after... went to, he went to apologize. Then he overheard. He right. was going to legitimately apologize. Yes. Then he overheard the, fa- the dad saying... I don't saying, know if he was going to legitimately apologize. Well, he had the but... dad saying all the bomb stuff that we, we went over before. Exactly. And now he's on the lookout for evidence. Right, so, so he excuses himself from... Uh, he, he basically forces her to invite him into the house, being yeah. like, aren't Muslims like very nice to strangers? And she's like, ah, yes. This was such a really poorly written episode. Was, yeah, this they, this whole like, last act was awful. Uh, it's like the writers really were just like, uh, all right, what next? Uh, what next? It, it's just, just so... And again, right. usually it's because good story comes out of characters. You write the characters and you go, okay, what is the sure. character going to do next? Because there's yeah. no characters here, because everybody's so superficial. The character is Homer Simpson, the cartoon. Yeah, the human li- cartoon who we can make do anything. So the writers have nothing to... They, they have no map to say, okay, what's our next scene? So they go, okay, now it comes to her house. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he excuses himself to go get more almond paste. Mm-hmm. And he goes That's into the kitchen. That's what Muslims eat. They eat Muslims almond, love paste. almond paste. Yep. He goes into the kitchen and he's looking at the computer and he finds plans that they're going to blow up the, the Springfield Mall in a, in a demolition, but he doesn't know that. And then uh, the woman, who I don't even know if she had a name, so I'm just going to call her the woman, which is not good. Um, when you get a, an Oscar-nominated actress to play a nameless character. I'm sure she had a character. Yeah, yeah whatever. Sure she had a name. And the script, it was probably like, a lady. <laughs> a dot lady. Um, but Homer is in the kitchen, and she's like, I don't hear any almonds being pasted. And he does this very long, drawn-out yes, thing. Keep listening. <laughs> I'm making the almond paste. Oh no! I hit my finger. Here comes the ambulance. Ooh. Yeah, it was Terrible. literally again. I, this is the fifth or sixth time we had to say this. It's Dan Castellana in the like just riffing Guys, and being silly in the, the not recording. Was funny. It's uh, terrible. It's really not. It's like it's painfully unfunny. Right. It's painfully it's, unfunny. It's, it's just a strain. It's, em- it's embarrassing. And I and I know we're hypocrites because we we I know, just this episode. I know we did. Just this episode. You may have cut it, but you probably did. Yeah. Just this episode, we did the same thing where we yeah. kind of just riff and make silly noises. It's funny. The difference is, this is unscripted. Right. And also, we're not the Simpsons. We're not saying, we're, we're not trying to be the funniest comedy of all time. Right. But, it, when you're, when, at least when it's We un- hold ourselves look, to no standard. It's unscripted. We're throwing it out there. Maybe yeah. it sticks. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah. You know, whatever. But when you, when this is a script and it should be going through multiple drafts, I, it, it, it I baffles, agree with you. you know, Completely agree with you. It's like, it's the same thing with, uh, you know, if you, you go see a, an improv show, like a long form improv show, there are jokes yeah. that are funny because they they were made up on the spot and they're improvised. I don't think that works for our jokes. They're, they're still not funny. No. But, but they're funny because they were like, oh, that was clever. Whereas if that was in a scripted show, you would go, oh, that's not funny. No. Uh, it, it, th- there's no way you could justify having these stupid Homer sound effects in there. Yeah. And, it's as bad as being and, like, and like, yeah. It, let's just call them Steve Mobs. Yeah. <laughs> and call it a day. It's a Steve Mobs joke. It's a Steve Mobs joke. They're so, not even jokes. They're mokes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're they said. They got Mapple, they got Cosmic Wars, they don't have jokes, they have their they off have brand mokes. jokes. They, they have, have mokes. <laughs> I like that. I Maybe mean, that's the name of the episode. Maybe we'll just mokes. call it Mokes. That was a big moke. Yeah, and then the episode Homer runs to the mall. Oh, well, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm just disillusioned. I, I, I know. I, I will say this about even though I the least favorite part of the entire episode was that almond paste uh, sound effects thing. Of course. It did end on a button I actually liked. Okay. So he go. So he's doing the oh, oh, I, oh yeah. my finger. Oh, here comes the ambulance. Wee you, wee you. And then they cut to her and she's not buying it and she just looks pissed off. And you still hear him doing the sounds, uh, his, doing his exaggerated sounds off camera. And then you hear yeah. him fall and actually hurt himself. He goes, <laughs> "Ow, my finger!" with like yeah. his real voice. Yeah, I did. I, I did like that. But I not, like that, not worth I the build like, up. It's not original. I like that type of joke where somebody is doing something silly and then cuts back into their real voice. Yeah, I, I like that too. Yeah, but actually, it's not, not worth it. Kind of relevant. There's a really racist Colbert bit that he does, Ching Chong Ding Dong, and he does this oh, like yeah, yeah, Asian yeah. impersonation. Yes, and it's 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 if you know at least I don't know if this makes it okay, but the fact that you know Stephen Colbert is a really good guy and he's not racist, but right. still, it's really pushing the envelope. It's it, it's hard to argue that it's not racist. It is, and people but have gotten he, yeah. mad about it. So anyway, it. he does this really racist. His Asian voice, and then at the very end, he burns himself, and he breaks out of character. And he goes, "Ooh, hot!" And like that—that that always makes <laughs> yeah, me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a stuff, it's the same joke, same trope. Right. So Homer rushes to the mall to try and stop this bombing, uh, and it turns out that it's demolition, and he's an idiot, and he runs around, and he grabs all the bombs, and he throws them into the water, and it blows up a bridge. Yeah, and they are. I don't know say about any of that. He blew up a bridge. He, you know, the, the guy, the the, uh, the Muslim father was just doing his service, and Homer ended up doing a terrorist act himself. Right. right. Although they're like, oh, but the bridge was scheduled to open tomorrow, which is just like, you know, we can't have Homer be a terrorist. 
Yeah. God no. Oh, that was an no, inactive the, bridge. The no one died. Nothing. Because there's, nothing nobody, was, even there's no the, problem. Even though they then show, because uh, they go, uh, Homer's like, oh, I don't care. And they're like, oh, it's Duff Island. Uh, the, right. The it was a bridge there. connecting to the Duff Island. And then Brewery they do Islands. show trucks fall off the bridge, which would have happened if then blew up anyway. And uh, They do, but that was funny because they just have the truck start driving. It's clearly they, no bridge. Yeah, and no, it just drives right off it's the bridge. That, it's that classic Simpsons, like, just yeah. like really silly humor. And yes. that was really funny. But then. Homer that I liked. jumps into the water. That I didn't like. He has to save the... You know, Homer likes beer. I don't know if you knew this. I did know this. Oh, okay. So he really likes beer. So he has to go in and save the beer. Hosmo Man, of course, is the truck driver. Right. And is drowning, and he thinks Homer's coming to save him. Homer gets the beer instead. Sure. It's like... Uh, it's just not, dumb. Not a bad gag. Yeah, it's just so... I don't but know. But why the fuck are we doing it now? Yeah, it has like, nothing to do with anything. Homer just blew up a bridge because he's an idiot. Yeah, it's not a joke. It's not a gag. It's pr- pretty much a scene. It's just this weird scene. It's like, oh, this is Homer's episode, right? Yeah. So we have to have another Homer scene. Yeah. Garbage. I, I did not like it. Have something to do with Muslims. <laughs> yeah. Have something to do with have, Muslims have, and Islamophobia. Like, yeah, you, you didn't have to make this an episode about Muslims. You're choosing to do that and then choosing not and then to say anything the, valuable They go to the it. tolerance picnic, and there's never really any lesson learned about, like, oh, you know, Muslims are people, too. It's literally, oh, I misunderstood. I, He's I not a wrong. bomber. He's I'm a sorry. construction worker. Yeah. That's their Muslims are people, too. That's so lazy. It's so, it's so superficial. It's so thin. It is. You may have t- actually talked me into hating this episode I, a little I, bit more. I, I, like, I, I think you, the reason you're like, oh, you well, hate this much more than me is because the specific, the specifics, there's nothing really terrible besides the, uh, the almond paste thing. Yeah. But it's, it's just so paper thin. They were just, I, I found myself laughing at a number of things in this episode. Yeah. I'm kind of realizing now, it, mostly it was in the very beginning of the episode. Like, it, this episode tapered off real I can quick. think of four or five things I laughed out loud at show. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the visual gags, the, the reindeer and the, and the bridge. But it's just such an empty episode. And it's just, it's almost, it's almost insulting to my intelligence. Well, Jack, it sounds not yours, like... mine. <laughs> oh, it did insult your intelligence, not me. I don't hear almond grinding. Just listen. I'm grinding them now. Ow, my finger. Oh, here comes the ambulance. My, you're a handsome fellow. Just get in the ambulance, Mr. Simpson. We'll see to your finger. Why, thank you. Oh, my finger. Uh, yeah, is there, uh, do we have anything else we want to say about this episode? My pods and boom sticks. That's just a big letdown. I don't know. It's dumb. Yeah. Stop, stop calling them my pods. It's so, just fucking call my pods. It's so stupid. It's annoying. All right, guys, it is time for us to rank this episode on our patented hippo scale. We're looking at the humor, the integrity, the production values, and the originality of the episode on our zero to five scale. So we're going to put two minutes on the clock. Hey, happy Halloween, everyone. It's almost Halloween. Christmas. Couple too many. Okay, so my pods and boomsticks. Jack, let's put two minutes on the old clock. I did already. Oh, that's right. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, well, now we only have a minute and 30 seconds left, uh, so we'll just go quick. Uh, all right, the humor of this episode, zero to five. Jack, what do you got? Uh, two. Two Maybe is 1. higher 5? than I thought you were going to go. I know. What, what, what did we say is for three laughs, a point five? Um, it gets a point, it gets a point five for three laughs? Yeah, I think that's about right. Because I, I want to say there's like six or seven laughs here. There's some good bits in this episode. All right, 1. 1.5. I'm going to say, I was going to say two, so uh, I was a little surprised you said two. Let's say two. two and take off a point five for how bad the almond paste joke was. Hmm. So 1.5. I'm, I'm going to stick with two. I'm going to stick with two. You made me second guess my two. Well, I, sorry. Fucking your mind I've games. Already, <laughs> fucking your mind games. <laughs> All right. Uh, the integrity of this episode, zero to five. Here's where we're going to have some problems, I think. Yeah, there's no, there's zero emotional resonance in this episode. So Agreed. besides the integrity, I like to use emotion in this. There's no, there's no, like you know, you do, there's nobody's, like nobody, there's no emotion invested in. Hey, um, Bart doesn't give a shit that his Muslim friend is being persecuted. Like, yeah, the Bart, the Bart storyline completely dies. There's no, yeah, it's all Homer. There's and Homer's no a heart. racist. Like Lisa is sad because she got a big bill. There's no, there's no, there's nothing emotional going on here. Right. Yeah. Mo and Lenny and Carl are just mouthpiece racists because the the plot yeah. demands them to be. It's bad. It's yeah. not a good. And then yeah, you're talking integrity. So yeah, there's nobody yeah. really acting. Like, I honestly, I thought Bart was too knee jerk. Um, Tolerant. I thought they, they should have. They didn't earn it. And uh, even even Homer at first is also tolerant. Right. And then just all of a sudden becomes racist. Yeah. No. So what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I'm thinking kind of low. I'm thinking. Oh yeah, certainly low. I'm thinking point five or one. I, I was, don't know what's. I was waiting to hear what you said because I was part of me was thinking zero. No, this. You much think? Worse, so. All right. I'll do point five then. 
Remember, point zero would be like like Homer really just being completely out of character. I mean, we I, I we've given zeros. I've given yeah. zeros. Maybe you haven't. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll stick with the point five just because. Uh, I, don't I, know I why. might go point five to be honest. We'll see. Uh, all right. The production values. Uh, the gags we did Not like awful. were the mostly the visual ones. Good visual gags. Yeah. Um, I didn't like the voice acting of Steve Mobs. Uh, I didn't like yeah. the 1984 scene. I thought that was kind of weak. I didn't think that was terrible. Um, I thought the whole my uh, Maple store stuff looked good. They really mm, nailed the look of uh, it, and they kind of—it's a white box with the uh, yeah. gadgets. Uh, it's not hard. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's see. You make a white box with gadgets. Uh, oh my go. god! Oh, oh my god! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Matt and Jack just made me a Maple store. <laughs> um, uh, so what do we think? Zero to five. One point five. I'm going to go with a two, and that's going to be on the strength of the Itchy and Scratchy episode because I liked Which it, I and it was well animated. About. It was one of my least favorite ones we've covered so far. I actually I liked it a great deal, so that, that gets the extra half point for me. Uh, and finally, the originality of the episode. Looking at the well, There's plot. never been a Bart uh, Simpsons meet a Muslim family before. There's never been a... There hasn't. Apple episode before. Uh, no. S- script was shit. The script, the structure was script. Uh, the, the, structure the structure was, was bad. Was bad because there was no structure because there's yeah. no characters to base a structure on. Yeah. Um, they've, it also wasn't original because, uh, again, they did the Lisa racks up money on the Corey hotline before. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, it's, there's not much here. I think one, we're looking 1. pretty 1. low. 5. Man, I'm going even lower. I'm going to say a one because I think this could have been a pretty good episode, but just... The way that they did it, making it this Homer fucking just is a jerk off episode, sucks. Yeah, this no, is bad. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So we have crunched our numbers, and my pods and boomsticks from season twenty has ranked very low. <laughs> what a shock! Not a not a shock. Uh, bottom ten episode. We got it at number eight. It is a slightly better episode than Father Knows Worse, which is from the same season, and a slightly worse episode than Angry Dad the movie. Mm. That was a movie, not even an episode. <laughs> So uh, thanks, everyone, who suggested that episode, or not thanks, the opposite, because you made us watch it. I ended up hating it more than I, I thought I did. the opposite of thanks is you're welcome. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Isn't the opposite of goodbye bad by? It's still goodbye. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that is it for this episode of Worst Episode Ever. If you have an episode you would like to suggest, you can do that on our website, which is, of course, wepodcast.com. That's w-e-e-podcast.com. And while you're there, you can click our Amazon links. Or you can just go amazon.wepodcast.com. That'll take you right to Amazon, bro. Yeah. You don't have to fuck around with our this website. Straight. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Give us Absolutely. $200. <laughs> Absolutely. And if you want more from us, while you're at wepodcast.com, you can get all our old episodes. And you can also get our 90s percentile, which is our other podcast that we do that comes out on Mondays. Talk about the 90s. Uh, and you can follow us on Twitter. We are at Worst Episode Pod. But you can follow everything we do at We Studios Pod. Yes. At We Studios Pod. Pod uh, is short for podcast. Oh, I was wondering, like, because the studio is not a pod. No, no. It's not it's like a, it's not like the Maple Store underwater. Yeah, yeah, no. It's it's short for podcast. Got it. Okay, I didn't I didn't make that connection before, so <laughs> I'm glad that we've I'm glad we talked about it. And guys, if you're listening to this the day it comes out, and you live in the Brooklyn area, you can come to Woohoo Classic Simpsons Trivia. That is at Berry Park, Brooklyn, in Williamsburg, uh, first Thursday of every month. But tonight is a very special one. We're doing our Simpsons costume contest, and that should be a lot of fun. So check that out. Uh, Google Woohoo Classic Simpsons Trivia to find out more and find trivia in your area. You make might that, have one. Make that costume very quickly very since quickly. this is day of. Yes, absolutely. And uh, we're going to be back uh, in two weeks. Yeah. So on uh, October, whatever that is, right. whatever two weeks from October 5th is. 16th? 20th. October 20th. October 20th. I don't, you know why I have October 16th in my head? Because, because that's that... when Treehouse of Horror 27 that's when Treehouse of Horror Premieres? 27 is going to air, and that is going to be our next episode. That is the this current season's Treehouse of Horror. It's airing on October 16th, Is it Octoween already? It's Octoween again. So, yeah, and, uh, you know, we know it sucks that we're not doing one every week, so we're going to try to make this one actually special. Even though it'll be dropping October 20th, we're going to record it on October 16th, right after we watch this episode. Yeah. And we're going to be doing it live, probably on Facebook Live. Right. Uh, so you can actually watch us right after you watch the show. 
Yeah, so we're going to watch it live as it airs. You guys should watch it live. Maybe they'll see a huge tick in ratings because everyone's going to be watching it to hear what we think exactly. about it. So check out our Reddit or our Twitter or most likely check out our We Studios page on Facebook because there's a good chance that's what it'll be playing. Absolutely. So check out that. We'll do it live on Facebook for the first time. We usually do Periscope, but we're trying something new. Unless we are doing it on Periscope. Unless that's it ends why up being I, Periscope. So. Throwing in those contingency plans. All right, I, that makes sense because, because we don't know what we're doing and shit goes wrong every time. Absolutely. Uh, and I think that is it for this episode of Worst Episode Ever. Um, yeah. Jack. We're going to turn it to uh, Marie from Pittsburgh. I'm assuming that's what the PGH is. And uh, she uh, she actually submitted her cut all this is way back in the summer of cats, uh, way back when. Uh, but she had already submitted one or two, so we wanted to hold on to these uh, until everybody got a chance. Uh, she's a big fan. She's a big Groofic fan. So uh, we're actually going to have Groofic uh, come in and uh, introduce her. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, so take it, this is weird. I don't have, I'm not, take, I don't it, like, take it away, it's, it's, I'm not like you, or I just pretend I'm, the, I'm, I'm not them. I don't know what you're I'm, talking I'm about. I'm Groofic, so it's like, Would you like me to it's go weird, get Groofic? Would that make it easier? It's weird introducing myself. Groofic, where are you? Because it's just a voice I do. It's not a whole thing. Uh, it's much bigger than you, Jack. <laughs> That's right. It is much there bigger. You just, just like 9-11. Hillary Clinton's emails, she deleted them because they said that she did 9-11. And <laughs> said to Osama, hope 9 11 goes well, signed Hillary, and then had one of her like Simpsons quotes as a signature. In and her th- email. This, this is connected and to the cutout that we're about to hear? No, no, but uh, <laughs> um, so uh, take it away, Marie. And I, I gotta say, she's she's uh, very entertaining. She'd make a great crisis actor. Take, take it away, Marie. <laughs> Hey there! Are you tired of random ass tangents? Are you tired of their random ass voices? Well, maybe you should cut all this. Why does Groofic suddenly appear? Every time I hear we just like me, he wants you to cut all this. 